We're going to urgent care. You sound so bad. I started realizing what was happening. I was like, oh, I'm passing out. Peter's doing slightly better than he was earlier. So that's good. Really achy headache and coughing and fever. But he does have a baby cat, so that's, that always helps. And we have the snuggle poodle down here. Peter just said, I love you to the moon and the stars. And I said, we're burning up like stars. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sick day romance. Mm. We feel great. Super, super good. Good morning, guys. It is Monday afternoon, and it was a bit of a rough weekend. Uh, as you know, Mary, on Saturday, Fr Friday, well, Friday night. night Sorry, coming down with a fever and not feeling great. Um, and then Sunday, I was feeling pretty fine on Saturday. And then Sunday, I, I need to get the keys. We're going to urgent care. <coughs> okay, we are back in the room at the urgent care. They're just doing a flu swab. And uh, I guess we'll find out if Mary has a flu. And... Which, we were gonna get me tested too, but then we we're like, if Mary has it, then that means I have it too, so, um, there's that. I'm hooked up to the innovative Gatorade feed. Nice. Uh, uh, you sound so bad. I, I'm just kind of like, I think I'm lethargic or... Yeah. Like, just weak. But. You need to be in bed. We'll get there. Okay. okay. Just got out of the urgent care and it is not the flu. So that's good. That is good. I mean, I, I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. So my CF doctor just called and while well, the urgent care doctor came in, which was really great because she got to hear what he said and then that was that. Um, so basically I'm still on doxy cycling and Leviquin. So uh, we just need to keep monitoring my lungs and hope that my fevers continue to stay down. Both of our temperatures were normal a couple, like an hour or two ago. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we are past the worst of it. That was the nastiest sickness I've ever had. I've never had fevers like that high of fevers for that long. Yeah. And like it's it's not like a cold because I don't have like sneezing or anything just like coughing and then like really bad headache aches all over yeah it's just it was crazy my doctor mentioned it could be other like since it's not the <laughs> flu like it could be other viral things like RSV or something like that <coughs> but Regardless, whatever it is, we're just gonna keep monitoring and take the next step. You know, she was like, if your fevers start coming back in the next couple of days, like, we'll probably wanna run some blood cultures and just make sure we're not missing something, so. All right, we did it. Well, that was a really intense weekend <coughs> and not the kind of weekend where it's a really fun weekend. You know, people love the weekend. Yeah, that was not a fun weekend. No. There were a lot of, there was a lot of back and forth. Should we go to the ER? Shouldn't we? Ultimately, as long as our symptoms were like safe and managed, we felt that it was safest to stay home. Yeah. Today, my CF doctor, and I, I, I don't even, I can't think straight. I don't know what we've said before, but my CF doctor started me on two antibiotics. I think we said that, mm -hmm. so you know that. So we already knew my lungs were like preliminarily covered. Um, yeah. So, you know, and then doing things like the Gatorade and the feeding tube and like doing all the things that we can do that we knew how to do. Hydrate, rest, Tylenol for the fevers. And um, yeah, it, it was, was, it was alarming. 
it was it was crazy this weekend yeah yeah no it was crazy i think i think that like virally is your fever going up i i don't know i do feel a little feverish but we're gonna go to sleep but the viral uh, but like i i think that's like the worst i've ever had oh yeah it's the worst i've ever had um but I'm thankful that to be more human. Like last night, middle of the night, I was just downstairs pacing because yeah. I was just in so much pain and oh, that wasn't fun, but. And so he was downstairs sleeping, which the fact that you even got to fall asleep. Yeah, I fell asleep on the couch it's and apparently so Harry was sleeping on top of me, which I didn't know until Mary called for me this morning, and I hopped up, and there was Harry on top of me. So basically what happened this morning, and this was also another piece of why we decided to... I had been... Okay, basically what happened was, this morning at 6 a.m., I got up out of bed to go to the bathroom. Peter was downstairs. I sat down to go to the bathroom, and I felt instantly really nauseous. Like, really nauseous. Which I hadn't been nauseous, really. And then went to the sink and like my whole body turned cold like and like the feeling it was so weird and then after a little I don't know I have no idea 30 seconds or something I have no idea I started realizing what was happening I was like oh I'm passing out my vision was closing in and the whole thing so I called Peter and I sat down on the floor down here on our bedroom floor he came up we put the pulse he put the pulse socks on me and it was like it wasn't even reading for a minute but then everything worked out i never lost consciousness i laid back and i never ended up passing out fully but um ollie laying here reminds me that he laid on my leg like the sweetest thing in the whole world yeah because he had so. been sleeping on the bed and he like jumped up and Lay down on her. He doesn't just lay on my leg like yeah. that. So it was very sweet. But anyway, all of that to say, there were just like a lot of things that we were like, ah, that's not normal. What's happening? So when my doctor said, go to urgent care and get tested for the flu, we were like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And thankfully we were able to make an appointment so we didn't have to wait for hours with other sick people. So that was good. We felt like we were able to do it as germless, as possible we both wore mm -hmm. masks because we're probably contagious anyway the whole nine yards that was our weekend we're gonna get some more sleep and as always we'll see you tomorrow hopefully a lot more human good night good night good night bonesy see you tomorrow buddy